Hi guys. Welcome, Carrie from Hot Mesh Mom here. Let me bring up the live. <clears throat> if you're watching the replay, say replay, let me know you're watching. And if you're new, let me know where you're watching from. Welcome. Trying to bring this up. Hello, guys. <clears throat> um, where am I? I'm trying to <laughs> trying to find my own page, and I forgot. I'm like, uh, <laughs> oh, it happens. All right, there we go. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Florence. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Sarah. Okay, you guys, so um, today is National Nurses Day, and we are going to start by uh, re revisiting our new nurse rail, blah, 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 revisiting our nurse rail, because I need to paint one, actually I need to paint two for an order, so, hi, hi, so we, um, Hi, Pat. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Margo. Aw. Well, happy Nurses Day. And this kicks off Nurses Week, which I, uh, I looked it up. Okay. My brain doesn't retain this type of information. <laughs> I looked it up. So, um, I just talked to Richard, and we are going to do a uh, different nurse rail every day for Nurses Week. Um... And I know there are some other nurse rails that we designed that are out there that we have not painted yet. So that's what we're going to do. Hi, Trina. Okay, let me, let me take my sandals off and move. And of course, my dog just moved in front of the fan. I think he knows. <laughs> so this is a big 20-inch rail. And the way I paint it is the word is or N R S E. The letters are red. The stethoscope is white and then the heart is red right here. And then I outline it in black. And then once it's dry, I go back and add, um, glitter. I do a uh, red inside here, red glitter. And then the whole stethoscope, the whole thing here is, um, it's white, but it's like this iridescent and it's called disco. So this, if you, you guys have seen me use this several times and it's, it's to right here. So I haven't used that much. Um, but this, this is a Hobby Lobby brand. Oh, this look Treehouse studio. That's where my, uh, that paint marker I like came from. So the, the white and then the red, another ultra or fine glitter here. It's not ultra fine. It's fine. Um, this one is a Walmart brand. So I just, use those with Mod Podge and uh, do the glitter. Okay, let me get ready. Sarah, are you in Vegas? What? If you say yes, how did I not know this? <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Penny. Oh, no thank you, Arizona. That's where Richard's from, and um, it's too hot down there. Vegas is hot enough. I, no, thank you. <laughs> it's too hot. <clears throat> so, um, if you uh, didn't catch the video yesterday or the replay, um, ManyChat, which is my bot messenger, so ManyChat and Facebook are broken up again in their uh, marriage here. So, we are not using the uh, comment and you get a message. So, um, Richard, someone's going to have to help with, with, with the links. <laughs> I don't know who either. I will after this is over or, um, if Richard steps in while he's working, he's out in the shop. 
So I'm gonna start with the red. This is red apple. I use apple barrel. Um, I do need to go shopping and get some new paint, you guys. I'm almost out. So for this, because it has the big um, like curves here, on the smaller 12 inch rail, oops, on the smaller 12 inch rail, I like to use the smaller filbert, but on this big one, I'm gonna use the uh, big one. Let me see. I don't know where my brushes are. Oh well, we'll just use this one. Hello, how about that one? Maybe. It's crunchy on the end. Hey Debbie. Oh, thank you, babe. Richard just posted the link. Hi Cheryl. Okay, so we're just gonna get started and have fun. And while we're painting this, we appreciate all nurses, whatever, um, whatever your nurse title is. We appreciate you and all your work that you're doing. I mean, this is like, uh, Nurses Week is already special, but during this time I feel like it's really special, right? So. And we already know nurses are special people. I mean, it takes a certain kind of person to want to be in that field and what you put up with. So, thank you very much. And if you're waiting on your order, I made a post earlier. I sent out some messages this morning. I just felt like um, it was warranted that I send out um, maybe some peace of mind that we are working hard on orders. Um, I have no excuses for the uh, turnaround time. We are just totally swamped and doing everything that we can so with that being said, we are trying to make some changes as far as finding a warehouse and uh, getting a new, another machine, adding another machine to our operations so we can keep up with orders because this is not the length that we want it to be at. So we're just a little mom and pop shop <laughs> running out of our home and we, ha we have some growing pains right now. So. Ah, we're trying to make it through, I promise. What they say, leave no man behind. Okay, and obviously, look, I paint fast. For the most part, I stay in the lines. I paint fast. I am going to outline it. So I have some of these in. I've been using this lately. Um, so I'm going to outline with this and I'm going to show you guys, I meant to do it yesterday and totally forgot. Um, if I continue to like them, we're going to actually carry them in the store. So I know a lot of people like a one-stop shop, you know, if you're going to buy some rails to paint, you really want to buy everything in one spot. So we're, we're trying some stuff out. We shall see. Oh, the EMT. Um, I have not finished that. I have one and it is super plain. Um, it's just like the EMT symbol, but I really wanted to make one up like the, uh, the nurse one that we have, or, you know, like the, um, yeah, the other nurse ones that we have. Hi, Pam. So this wreath rail we make, it's in our store. We like to make new things and then show you how to use them and how to paint them. We did add some new stuff to our shop that is um, something you don't have to paint if you're not a painter, but this, I think this one is still listed as you can buy a painted one. If it's not, I turned it off because I'm almost out of paint. And uh, last time I went to Walmart, which is where I buy the apple barrel, uh, they were completely out and I have not ordered online. So we shall see. Oh, now the dog's snoring. Great. I don't know if you can hear him.
Thank you, Jean. I know, sometimes it's hard because people are waiting on orders. They're trying to finish their orders. I do have to tell you though, I am reaching out to other people um, for their services to add to our team. Um, if you're in my free group, Debbie has been helping us um, with the free group and that's a sharing group. Uh, we can we want to continue to build on that one too. So Debbie is helping us on that. And then we were searching for some website help to ramp up the website and the store. So not to mention a warehouse. And when I say warehouse, just think of like a big giant shop that is not our garage. <laughs> Hi, Tanisha. Hey, Jeanette. Tanisha, the great thing about our shop is that once we have a design up, it's up there. Um, and then if you, the next time that you purchase, you can grab it. And I did get a message from someone. This doesn't happen often, but why is your shipping so high? Um, I don't feel that it's high. We took an average of all of our shipping from the year prior and this works out. Um, if you're in Florida, you're getting a good deal. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. You're getting a good deal <laughs> because it's a, it's a tad bit more than $12 uh, flat rate, but we felt that flat rate was a good price and we have free shipping after a hundred dollars in product so um, that's a good deal okay so now let's flip it and go this way I'm gonna do the heart next I am using a filbert which is a rounded brush on the end Oh, Rosemary, no, I'm I'm in Las Vegas. I'm on the West Coast. For us to ship from Vegas to Florida is um, quite a bit more than the $12. And Virginia, I don't know why, but Virginia and Florida are just our uh, most expensive places to ship in the U.S., in the continental U.S. We I don't think we've ever shipped to Alaska. So um, when we come up with this average, if you're in those places, you're getting a, a sweet deal. And it's quiet. Have you guys noticed how quiet it is? Um, the kids are at my mom and dad's. We've all been quarantined, so we all agreed that we felt it was okay. And if mom and dad were okay with it, the kids would go over there. So, Hi, Terry. Hi, Judy. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for being here and sharing. And make sure that you uh, like and follow my page here. That way, oh, and you have your notifications on. That way you can be notified when we go live. Um, I don't have any other way at this time to send out those notifications. 
my friend Tiffany just told me about uh, a text service. So we're going to um, check into that and uh, see if we can do that as well, if we can fit that into our budget. So we shall see another thing on the list of we shall see. Hi, Shirley. And when I'm painting these, if you guys are ordering more than one, I normally batch them out. So I will do like all the red on this, all the red on the other one, come back and then do all the white on both of them, and then come back and do all the black. That way, um, when I'm, you know, using the paint in the tray here, it's not getting dried out between uh, uses and I'm not wasting it. I did finish those bees last night. I was up till, well, I finished them this morning with the glitter. I was up till 11. I had uh, three bunnies to paint, three Harlequin bunnies, three, actually I painted six 20 inch bees and then two uh, ladybug rails. That was someone's order. So that should be going out today. Richard should be sealing that. Um, what else? I have two of these right now. Now this is just what Richard brought in for me. <laughs> two of these, a patriotic sunflower, um, another 911, and then I think he said two USAs, but he hasn't, oop, he hasn't brought that in yet. So I'm just over here painting happy little rails. I did get cleared. Um, I got the email this morning for that problem I was having with my email. For whatever reason, it had me, uh, I had to activate a certain feature on my email. So um, I got the support ticket back this morning that it's unlocked. So the thing that I talked about yesterday about us doing a interest wait list for a wreath rail box, a monthly box. Um, that should be done today. I just needed to wait on them to do that. What is that? It's like white something on there. Get off there. Hi, Nora. Oh, thank you. Hi, Bruce. Another crafter does it by email. What is that, Pat? Tell me. I'm lost already. I forgot what I talked about. <laughs> hey, it's not it's not that hard to do. Oh, the uh, go live. I think that's what we were talking about. The problem with that is, it you might not get your notification your email right away okay I'm just gonna go to the other one because why not ooh Debbie oh yay Peggy and this is so fun that you can paint it whatever color so if you have a nurse that her favorite color is purple or teal or pink you can change it up and do a different color um, I just really like the red and the white to me it it, it does scream hey this is a nurse um, but there's nothing that says you can't do your own thing I do have my friend Christian um, I need to paint one uh, in pink for his wife my buddy he was on the other day I think it was last week and just seeing his comment he got got me all teary-eyed got me in the feels
Bruce, I can see you. Since we're friends on Facebook, it shows me when you pop in. So you can't hide. Don't be trying to be sneaky. <laughs> And yes, I said hi to you. <laughs> so funny. I don't know why sometimes I can't see comments, but I can see that. Seems to be fixed. I don't know. I know I was having problems the other day. And hey, the Mevo turned on the first time today. I didn't have any problems with that. So what I've been doing is disconnecting it from the boost. Seems like the boost is not charging the top part. So I disconnect it from the boost and then charge them individually. I don't know if anybody else does that with the Mevo, but that's what I have to do. Okay, there's that. There is some wood grain showing on here but I think it gives it personality. And when we seal it, then it, uh, it comes out okay. <laughs> right, Debbie? That's Richard's uncle. He's actually in Phoenix too. That's Craig's brother. And Craig is my father-in-law. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Hi, Mary Ann. Bruce, what are you getting Claudia for Mother's Day? You should buy a wreath for me so I can send it to her. I think she would like that. Okay, turning this around. I thought I got some white paint markers, but I, I don't think I uh, added them to my cart. But that's what I want to try because I want to like paint this with a paint marker. I think that would be a good idea if it comes out right and it uh, comes out on the wood. There we go. Oh, hey, I'll take windows and a house painted over a wreath any day. Where do I, where do I sign up for that? <laughs> uh, 
I asked for a rose bush. I want a climbing rose bush. But I only want it if we take the palm tree out of the front yard and I'm able to do a little rose garden up there. But someone has to find someone to take that stupid palm tree out. Get on it. <laughs> oh, Penny, you're so sweet. Thank you. So I do have someone that uh, we want to hire as a helper, but we're not allowed to right now. So as soon as uh, we get the green light, hopefully that will still work out. Someone I used to work with in my, um, my former life uh, put her notice in and then they let her go. Go figure, right? So, um, and she actually lives like down the street, the other side of the busy street, five minutes away. So we'll see. I'm running out of paint here. I'm going to have to fill it back up. I was hoping to make it to the end here, but nope. Oops, getting to where you guys can't see. Debbie, stay on your side of the border. <laughs> guys, Debbie's all the way in Canada. Wouldn't that be funny to have her come over here? If you're ever in Vegas, Debbie... I don't know if you've ever been here or not. I don't remember if we've talked about that. <laughs> Hi, Faith. Oh, yay. Palm trees are um, bad news. They leave these little black seeds everywhere. We have the one that goes in the air, not like one of the little uh, plant ones. Um, and they house, uh, rats and scorpions here in the desert. We have never had a rat problem, but then again, there's a bunch of cats around here, but, um, and knock on wood, we've never had a scorpion problem, but, uh, scorpions are known to live in the palm trees. So, oops, I went way over the line there. So it's, um, it also blocks some of my solar, so I want to get rid of it. And in the front, I want a little, like, um, area, seating area, but I want to put roses up there, so. Richard said I can do it, but I just need that palm tree gone and the rocks gone, so. We'll see what's coming for Mother's Day. Okay, there's that, just a little piece left. Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> Debbie, New York is far from me, so if I ever go to New York, I will make sure that we come across the border and visit you. New York is on my list of places to visit. Richard does not want to go. I want to see all of it. I want to do it all. He's like, mm, not interested. <laughs> mm. Whew. Oh, look at, I, hello. The S is missing something here. Okay, got a lot of paint on here. Let's just check it to make sure that all the spaces are filled in here. 
went over the line a little bit. Oopsies. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I forgot to get a... Hey, babe, yeah. can you get my jar of water, please? Okay. okay, we got all that. Let's jump. Since that's wet, we're going to jump back over here. And now we're going to do the white. So I think I'm going to start this way and work my way this way. Huh? I don't know what he said. Hello. No, Debbie, we don't like the strip. I can't tell you the last time I was on the strip. Nope. We stay away. It's just too crowded, but I live here, right? I want to go to New York because I've never been there. Richard's not interested. Okay, I need another brush. I'm looking for a brush. Like this is a smaller, thinner filbert that when I, uh, you know, put the paint on, it's gonna fit between the lines. I don't want something that's bigger that's gonna cause me problems. So, I think this one is pretty good because we got some curves here and we got something there. Okay, let me see. Let's get some white paint. Don't think I need that much. We'll just start with that. I am going to spray it a little bit because it's super thick. I even sprayed some into the jar and it was like not having it. I don't know why this keeps being thick. Thanks, babe. Okay, let's move this over here. Ooh, fun, Debbie. Thank you, Charity. <laughs> Girls trip. Bye, Richard. <laughs> He just walked by. Did you hear me? We're talking about going to New York. And I said, you don't want it. You're not interested. See, he just said, have fun. Girls trip. Bye. <laughs> he just wants to go camping. I won't go camping unless we have a camper. I am not sleeping in a tent. Mm -mm. This mama is not a tent camper. We went three years ago. We rented a little weekender from Cruise America. And the four of us went to the Grand Canyon. And it was so amazing. I mean, it was in March, so it was still cold. And there was still snow on the ground. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing. We had the best family trip. But that's the only uh, camping I'll do. And it was too cold. We wanted to do like the outside type of barbecue thing. No, it was way too cold. And went super windy. We couldn't even get the uh, coals lit. So... Yay, Jenny! Carol, this is, it's the same for 20 and 12 inch. So I think I painted both on here. I don't remember. So part of the one of the, uh, hello, blah, blah, blah. Part of one of the things that I want to do is get my video tutorial um, uh, what do you call it? Log? I don't know. Get it up because I can add videos to my 
website and let's say you say you're asking for a specific video instead of directing you to um, Facebook and you can't find it I can directly direct you to my website and then you can find it oh like a database so that's one of the things I want to work on just don't have time we're so close to the kids being out of school oh my gosh Amelia has been so responsible. Showed her how to log in. She knows how to log in. She gets on her call. She wants to jump on the call 10 minutes early. And I'm like, you still have 10 more minutes. <laughs> Carol, we do not um, paint both sides. Um, so when you order a blank from us, it's remember, it's not a finished product. You're, you're going to fix it and do all your fancy stuff if you want to paint the backside I would paint the backside first if you're okay with using spray spray it or um, or not we do not paint the backside I don't even seal the backside um, and we've never had any issues with that I know some people like the backside painted so I would paint the backside first let it dry and then move to the front side You probably can't see. Let me move this up. Now, with the white here, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just basically a base for the glitter to lay on. So when we put the glitter down, you're not going to see the wood through. You're going to see, um, you're not going to see anything actually, but you're going to have more of a white look to the glitter. If I went straight on the wood, you would probably have a darker color to the glitter because it's going to shut, uh, that color is going to come through. You know what I mean? And I am messy, but we're going to outline it and it's going to be okay. So there's that part, and then we'll put that one to the side, and we'll come back over here and do the same thing. Where do you have it plugged in at? In the bathroom. I bought a new cord. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. See how it does in maybe half an hour. <laughs> okay. So we borrowed that air conditioning unit, that little air AC unit from my uh, parents, my dad, and Richard just plugged it in. So we are maxed out on power in the garage, so he has to run an extension cord and we have it plugged in to the kids' bathroom. Hey, whatever works, right? We got a real operation here. <laughs> Hi, Janet. So if you guys joined us and didn't hear my intro, today is Nurses National Nurses Day. So we are kicking off with painting our nurse rail. We are going to be doing um, a, a nurse's piece every day until the 12th. For nurses week so if you have a nurse and you want to tag them you want to spread the love um, all that fun stuff we will be here at the same time um, which is 2 p.m. Pacific and that works out to be 3 Mountain 4 Central and 5 Eastern oh what is that Where'd that come from? That's so weird. Weird. There's a, a piece of mesh that fell. Where'd that come from? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's raining mesh.
so funny. I did watch a new movie last night, um, late night with uh, Mindy. Gosh, what's her name? Kayleen, I think it is. Thank you, Debbie. Did you see the last of years in the mountains? Sometimes so interesting. Oh, mountain time. Yay. So what's that? Ariz I don't know if Arizona's on mountain time or Pacific time now. Mountain is what? Utah all the way up. Arizona, New Mexico. Um, what else would that be? Colorado. Kayleen, yes. It was cute. It was on Amazon Prime. forgot what her name was. Okay, so now that that's done, let me put my, ooh, put my paintbrushes in water, cover the white. Oh, that's right, Sarah, you're in Colorado. How could I forget? Duh. <laughs> I don't like Jerry Seinfeld. Yes, I said it. He bugs me. Okay, so this is, I talked about it the other day. This is um, a new paint pen that I've been trying out. Um, it does have one of those shakers in there, so I just shake it up. I have my um, uh, thing over here, and I press down the tip to get that paint to come out and see how it's coming out. I'm just going to dab it off a little bit so it doesn't um, leak. When I started using it, I put too much paint here, and it leaked. So I'm more conscious about making sure the paint gets in the tip and then dab it off so it doesn't leak. And then... Um, I'm going to work my way across this way because I'm right-handed. So let's see. I'm just going to follow the line the best that I can. I feel that it has, it's the right size for what I want here. Oops. It covers up those um, areas that I went over the line. Okay. And it, it just looks like a regular marker. And I do outline the white, which should be dry. It doesn't have to be a big outline. I'm using more of the tip. On some other things that I painted, I actually got the black on the white, and all I did was go back and uh, paint white over it to kind of fix my mistake. So I'm just going around. So this is called Deco Color Acrylic Paint. Hi, Darlene, how are you? What about Ali Wong? I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> hey, 
Yay, Darlene. I know that makes you happy. I'm happy for you too. Okay, any place that I make a mistake, I'm just gonna go and fatten it up and make it look right. And then I can even cover it with some of the glitter. Ouch. I was sitting weird in my stool. Okay, so if you feel like the pen, the marker is um, not producing as much, I just come over to the, uh, if you have a paper, if you have a napkin, this is just a baby wipe, and just push that tip in till the paint flows, and then dab it off a little bit so it doesn't leak. Follow this around. I do not outline the inside. Look, there's that other piece of thing again. What are you doing here? Go away. Where did that come from? I don't know. Um, oops, see, I'm starting out shaky here. I don't do the inside of the heart. This is all going to be glitter, so it's going to be okay. And then let me turn it this way. See, so you got a little fat right there. And you can just even this out so it doesn't look so funny. And one of the big things is I haven't had any of these leak or um, smear when painting. Now, be careful if you use brush on. I don't brush on my sealer, so I don't know how these do with brush on. We might have to do a test. Because some people still use brush on sealer, like a polycrylic, but we spray ours. Okay. And look at how nice and long this, this paint lasts. I've been, I've been using this pen for a while on my projects. I meant to do the um, Harlequin Bunny yesterday and the bee with it, but I forgot. Um, and it's not giving out. Hi, Sherry. Thank you, thank you. So we, look, I still have this here because in case someone asks, this is what we use. Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Cover Clear. And um, it does say fast drying, non-yellowing, and UV resistant. Um, I have used other sprays, and that is my favorite. And we can get that at Home Depot or um, Walmart. So um, that is my favorite. I love to use it. We have tried like Krylon and I wasn't a fan. I am a fan of Rust-Oleum. Okay, I'm gonna do a little dab here. So when I did a dab, see how dry it is? You can't really see anything. And now it's coming. So that's after three dabs one, two, three, and then just
do that so there's if there's any extra it won't leak there's glitter everywhere and then we got this and this I tend to go faster just because I've been doing it for a long time and then I just cover my mistakes but if you need to go slower slow down okay like right here I can still see some of the white through the black like on that edge so I'm just gonna come back and add a little bit and all of this white and red is gonna be covered with glitter and now let's do this one So right there, I started going off. So I just changed the, um, like the direction of my marker. So it was the fat side. Cause it was going way out of there. And you see, I can cover up my, ooh, God, that sounds awful. I can cover up um, going over the lines. Doesn't that sound awful? Can you guys hear that? It's like scratching. Ugh. Dab it off a little bit. You don't like the sound? Sorry, I know, right? <laughs> it, it's bothering me too. I'm like, no, stop it. I should just record doing that because some people might like it and then just like, oops, see that right there? Like the ASMR people that like, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, it's still wet and I just put my hand on it. Lovely. So now I just gotta be careful not to get that on anything. This is way easier than trying to paint that edge and keep a steady hand. I'd rather use the marker. And this is a paint marker. I can cover all of those lines that I painted over. Okay, time to take a drink.
turn this a little bit. And then I just have these two spots right here. Actually snoring next to me, Debbie. He's riding a bike in his sleep. I'll have to record him doing that. Of course, he's laying in front of the fan. Okay, so do you want to see me do the glitter part? I don't even know what time we're at. We're almost there. So let me do, I'm going to do one glitter and show you what I do. For those that haven't seen me do it yet. So I usually start, I have a piece of paper right here, okay? And I usually start that with uh, underneath my project. I'm actually gonna turn it this way. So when I do the red, I can scoop it this way, okay? So then I get out um, Mod Podge and my glitter and just a brush. Um, I wash these brushes in the sink anyway, so I just, I have these little artist loft, the white ones. I use that for my uh, glitter. So what I do is take my Mod Podge. Now this barely has this much. I used almost a whole bottle with all those bees and ladybugs. So take some on your brush. I'm going to have to be fast because I have the fan blowing over here. So I'll show you when it starts to look like it has that glossy sheen to it, you need to re-wet it. So I just do this, get a whole bunch on here. Because with that fan on, usually it dries pretty fast. And just go back over it, spread this all out, make sure everything is wet. Okay, everything looks good. Set this down. And then I dump the glitter right over it. And then from here, I'm going to take my rail and I'm going to tap it just to make sure the glitter is sticking there. And then this is why I use the um, paper because I tap, 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 get all that excess off. Even though there's some that are sitting here, when Richard seals, he blows it off and gets rid of all the excess. And then I take um, this and I dump it back in here. So let me show you. So take the lid off. Normally I would do this in the trash can, but you won't be able to see that. Take the lid off, take your paper and I fold it like a taco and then dump all of this back in here. Okay. And I shake it. Usually I have the trash can right here, shake it off in the trash can. And then all that excess goes back here and you don't have a a lot of waste. You don't have to worry about being neat with it. The glitter will stick to wherever you put the Mod Podge. So if you like, I just did it this morning. I dropped a little bit of Mod Podge off where I didn't want it. So I had to wipe it off. If I had left that there, the glitter would have stuck there and then I'd have to like pick it off. But this is what you get when you use that Mod Podge. And then um, from here, I let that dry because what I found is when I'm doing two different colors, um, if I started doing the white next, white would actually get here because this Mod Podge is not dry yet. So I'll let this dry. We can do the red one over here then. I should have just left all this out. Um, so do the same thing. Get your Mod Podge. I do, you see I do um, go right into the bottle. I don't squirt it out so there's no waste. And just be careful how you're holding this bottle. That's how I spilled is because I actually went like this and the bottle um, poured out. And get this all wet. You gotta work fast because the Mod Podge dries and then the glitter won't actually stick to it. So just make sure you get it all on the pieces that you want. Take your glitter, pour it. See, there's a lot on there, but that's what the paper's for. So if you use glitter, 
um, use the paper under. What size of glitter? This is uh, really teeny tiny. So I have this, I also have extra fine. So I would say, this doesn't say, so I would say this is fine. And then these, this one right here, this square one comes from Walmart. This is extra fine. So this is even teeny tinier than this stuff. And then I have this, which is called a party mix or a party blend, same Walmart, but it has big, big and small pieces in here. And this color, this is what I use on the 911 rail. Okay, so then we come over here, tap it off, get that excess off, and then do this. Okay. And now we're done with the red. Um, if I was in a big hurry, I'd probably take the heat gun to the red over here just so I can get started. But I do the same thing. I take my brush and I'm filling this in. I try to work as fast as possible. So I'll use a big glob of it and, you know, put it around and go this way. And then do the same thing. Pour the um, iridescent, which is this one. And it comes, that's why we do the white base. Do that iridescent. And then... Um, just do the, do the same thing with the paper, tap it off, come back, do this part as far as I can get. If you see it drying, just go back over it with the Mod Podge and the brush and then tap it off and then do this side. So that's the secret of glitter. So I like, I, well, when I went to Walmart, they didn't have very much glitter. I have not been to Michael's or Hobby Lobby in a very long time so I don't know what they have they're not even open here I don't think um but like this is a Hobby Lobby this is a little bit no this is the same type type or same size as that but it says $2.99 I didn't pay $2.99 for it um you can uh use a coupon or wait till it's on sale like this big one $4.99 it's lasting me forever uh I didn't pay that. And then here we have a big black one. Now this one is less than half. It's to right about here. So I've used a lot of black, but you guys have seen all the uh, bees and stuff I've done. I've done way more than that. And this was $7.99, but I didn't pay that. So um, this was also Hobby Lobby. So there's many different options. If you know you're gonna use a lot of black, get the black. If you're gonna use a lot of red, get the big red. But that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Quick grabbing by the rail. I know, right? Because <laughs> if I break this, I'm going to be mad and Richard's going to be even more mad. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all I have for you. We will be doing a nurse piece every day for nurses week up until the, tw it said that 6th through the 12th. So the 12th will be the last day. Um, Thank you for being here and sharing and spreading the love. We appreciate you so much. And uh, now it's time to help Richard get some orders out. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.